It looks like Postgres is not. Postgres is not. Uh, Postgres is not the same like SQLite, because I follow most of the tutorial online. They mm -hmm. they do it in in default database, which is SQLite. Okay. Yeah, and then when uh, I follow the tutorial, and then mm -hmm. I put this one from dot save, then it throw error. Okay. So uh, when I debug, I think this is the line that save the data to the database. Yeah, actually, okay, okay, yeah, it's uh, the the a API interface could be different. Yeah. yeah but... Yes. So I'm looking. Uh, right now, I'm looking on how to use Postgres. So, so yeah, I was uh, I put online. I don't know if you have seen. I will. Yeah, we can just start a bit now digging. So I try to build the the simplified version. Okay, that's uh, uh, for the backend in the capstone, which I was working also with. Say for okay, so it's a bit uh, simplified. Uh, most of the services are gone just to make it more easier to follow. And right now, the, we put it online the version. So, uh, if you try it out, you can come. The, this obviously doesn't work, all this, mm. but basically, first, what we need is dashboard, metrics, applicants, and jobs. Uh, so I also push the front end one, which is if you, if you can run with uh, in your local host. So yeah, that's. Uh... Oh. So I I need to get pull. This is the uh, like today. It's yeah. I pushed one early morning, like okay. five a.m. or something, and then the other one we just finished uh, pushing. Okay. What, what, like half an hour ago or something. Yeah, but and then in... how, how do I push? Do you, can you give me the permission to push a new branch? To push a new branch? Yeah, I won't disturb the master. I push a new branch. Okay, let's see. But yeah, just uh, as a reference, uh, you can push another one, mm. but do the PR to the capstone. That's uh, yeah. That's Wait, I, yeah. I don't get it. Can you repeat again? Uh, you, you know that uh, you, you can hmm. fork this one and you can hmm. PR. PR, pull request? Yeah. Okay. Can, can you just try, for example, now just okay. do, do the fork from here? Because it's a main master. We are the, it's a main repo we have for JPEX. That's why, yeah. Can why do talk? I fork? I, I, actually, I want branch. Branch is enough. Branch is enough. So usually we do the PR uh, uh, if we can folk. see in the in our main repos. Oh. We we do the PRs. I can show you. Like we have, you see, that's mm. the main thing that we do usually because it's easy. Okay. Uh, to come back and review. Okay. How do I fork or oh, fork here? Is yeah, it from you the can right? come okay. here. You can fork here, and then when you do. When you do the PR, you do against the capstone, not the master. I will give you access, but uh, still you need to not commit directly. So, okay. So anything I commit to my fork, right? This is what the business. Yeah, you do commit to your fork. Once you think it's ready, it's uh, good to go you can do the PR to the capstone branch. So you fork now, you change stuff. Do you, do you want to share your screen and see or? Oh, I guess maybe I need to clean up. Yeah, I can sh show you. Uh, so for example, I, I will show you. Okay, should, just okay. just pay attention. Okay, mm. you, you see, uh, I think somebody's joined. Mm. Who is that? Hey, Vias, how's it going? Hey, hello. I see you. Oh, hi. Hey, man. Okay, so look, look at it. 
I'm forking, okay? Mm. First step. Now I forked the back end, okay? Okay. Uh, this next thing, I'm coming to the capstone. Mm. For example, I change the readme, let's say. Uh, quick start cycle, for example. Okay. You commit changes. Mm. Once you commit the changes, mm. you do compare and PR. And you do to drop hex backend capstone mm. from my own. Oh, okay. You create the PR. Mm. And once we are here, mm. we, we come here and we can see, hey, uh, what's a PR and uh, mm. if we should merge okay. it. So basically, uh, you should do all your work in your own fork. Mm -mm. And once all works and you tested everything, you do PR and one of us review. And if it's good to us, we merge it to capstone branch. Okay. So it's including for us. If I do, you review and then you commit everything clean and then we merge it to the capstone just to not break it. Mm -hmm. uh, easily. That's, mm. uh, so, uh, hey, Young Green, uh, can you guys hear us? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, we were just discussing our uh, strategy for branching and uh, and front end because it's slightly different. So, let's start from front end, guys. Uh, are, are you all good? So basically, we have the midterm in 19 of October, just to be clear. Yeah. Which is means in we should be ready in two weeks. So, so today I, I went, I met Eggman and uh, mm -hmm. since you push the base thing, yeah, the capstone. So I yeah. got updated on my local, on my fork. Awesome. Does it and, work? Sorry? Is it works normal? Yeah, I'm able to run on my local machine. Uh -huh. With I, uh, I, backend in the cloud, yeah? Yes, yeah. Okay. So uh, I, so what I'm doing is simply since like, I know I, I repeated many a times, mm -hmm. since I'm new to this React, so what I did is I, I just created a navigation. I added an extra link to the existing navigation. And I, I just started, uh, just started mocking the existing jobs, jobs page, uh, but under a different navigation. Mm -hmm. So I thought once it runs, uh, then I will keep changing the content on the page. But uh, so, uh, can I share my screen? Uh, sure, you can share. Go ahead. Okay. Can you see? Not yet. Yes, no. Okay. Yes. So, <coughs> I just added a link over here saying create profile. Okay. Oh. So basically, uh, there is nothing yet finalized. So I just thought. Let's put a navigation and get the work done. Later, we can change the navigation like once we decide on that. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, because, yeah, that's create prof company, create profile. Yeah, that's what we were discussing also in the user profile. Usually what we should have, the like, we should have the university entity, which is under this entity. We have the roles like student, alumni, and the career service. Mm -hmm. And we have the company, which you, you create a profile, which is one for recruiters and one for all employees who can yeah. see all the jobs across the company, yes. but not yeah. create ad. So, so what I did is I just, uh, so of course now this is this okay. not showing up anything. So what I did is uh, I'll just tell you, uh, I just created a company's folder over here. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I just, I'm just trying to replicate what they did in jobs. And I created the companies dot JSX, but inside I'm still trying to call 
the same jobs stuff mm-hmm. just in case you know when i click create profile if it loads the jobs page so i thought then i can keep you know changing the content and create an interface for create profile mm-hmm. but uh, i don't know it's just going blank here <laughs> you know uh actually i did the same if you follow uh applicants and jobs i i am also not uh, wow react but i spent uh, last night just uh, to do stuff and if you so, see here there is one app page yes can app. you go jsx can you go there app. jsx yeah yeah it's up okay yeah. just go here do you have here endpoint i just added this uh you added which one what companies was there i think it was uh, no sorry companies was there or you added this one only C- can you go down there is because uh, on the left if you see this is what i added the companies folder and within that i added a companies.jsx and the basic style css C- can you go it- down there yeah. is redux uh, for it did you add it there yeah go down uh, go down uh, there should be something with redux go down router can you see something with router yes about routes yeah you you need basically something do you have something like that right now You, you you maybe forget added to add the route no i i guess i added to hmm just a second route companies oh. here i just i added this way uh is it the one companies and because when you go it doesn't wait let me check the front end uh, because i think in the component there is already no there is no companies you added companies yes so what you could do quick way you can just take the jobs one currently there uh huh and just copy and paste the same J- jobs okay uh basically the because you're trying to add the yeah, no applicants also same yeah okay okay so good you can just do uh instead of the companies the deleted and the, do you have anything there no nothing i can okay just deleted and the jobs one same way delete companies yeah okay uh, copy paste the jobs folder is the, the, yeah duplicate it yeah okay just rename it yeah okay, okay. uh now did we have any already companies let me check because we may I have i don't think so maybe i can that you can confirm that because companies okay let me okay now uh if you come to again to app swan wait let me see do we have companies here companies okay we don't have companies you added the companies Mm-hmm. And now jobs you need pass one two uh, yeah you need in the these pages okay can you, you go, yeah now you added the next step you go to these pages find this so what, what should i do here do you, any clue update imports huh yeah you can do it uh Yes, I think yeah. It will just import here. So here in app, find the this dot pages inside this file. Uh, 
this dot pages. This dot pages, okay. Huh? Yeah. I, I added here too. You added? Yeah. Companies added here. Okay. And now go down. That's uh, in, to, in your router. Oh. Uh, now in your router, you have the companies render your alert. Okay. You have three things. Render three things. Okay. Uh, looks good now. So uh, save it and also in your menu, you have the companies, yes, yeah? slash companies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, just go to now, uh, let it compile and try it. It should fix it because you follow the same. Is it giving an error? Or? Yeah. Uh, what's it? it's file or directory? Uh, it's saying model built from. Okay. So now go there. I I you know company company GA six. Oh, basically, there is no. Oh, I think this is still jobs. Yeah. Just rename it to companies. Uh, and also, can you check uh, your app, GCX, the top of the app, GCX file? Can you go to the top? You mean the import statement? Yeah, import, import. I want to see the imports. Okay, it's good here. Okay, is it building now? Compiling now? Okay, it's it's fine now. Go to your UI and check it, test it. Right, it takes some time. Page not found. No, no, it's because it sees big. It shouldn't be this big. In header, you need to update it to a small. Oh, which one? The URL? Yeah, in just change C to small one. You can change in the browser and test it first. Uh, yeah. Even though I think it's still. Mm -hmm. It um, should be. There is a place that you need to add the URL in the app.js. Oh, okay. There's a. You can search these dot pages. You need to add it to the array. I think he added it was. Uh, oh, is it added? Uh, I think we saw it. Yeah, companies. Yeah, it's just in his header file. In uh, if you go to header J six, it's in the down in partials. Yeah, just uh, find the companies. Yeah, it should be small. Save it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, go to menu, uh, go to your browser and just try this small one only. I guess it's still compiling. No, you can, yeah. Oh, okay. I think. Right, so I don't know why it's changing back. Uh, you may need to. Try. Interesting. Um, yeah, just try to do, 
use the uh, incognito. Yeah. Shall I delete cookies not required? Uh, is it built? Can you see? Just try yeah. remove yeah, components. Yes, yeah. successful. Okay, just remove companies and is it? Uh, yeah, try incognito. Try now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You are good. But I, I was just wondering. Uh, I, so, my I guess the only difference is is the C or the small capital letter C here. Yeah, I think you need just yeah. Okay. Be careful on these small things because yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I guess. Yes. Do you have any questions? Are you clear? I think, I think you are talking with again. Yes. So I, I'll start. Yeah, you know, doing this interface. I was like trying since evening. I, I couldn't get it. Uh, I didn't realize that uh, it's like case sensitive. Yeah. I would advise you to bootstrap. Take some. You can also talk to Agavis or Yonglin. Just any React course online. Just quickly finish in one, two, three days. Yeah, just to get some tricks and uh, sure. Because for me, I never checked so far. I just you know like based on experience and went through and refactor and it, it, it's all clean. For me, yeah. it took just half night. I would say I started at eleven p.m. Once yes, I was back, so it shouldn't be that difficult and all the code and all this stuff. So okay. you should be good uh, self-taught on this matter. And sure. Okay, uh, so let's, uh, let me show you Yonglin before June and you guys start. I will just quickly show what we have now. And so currently it's also in my local and all, what we are trying, maybe you will get more uh, understanding that. So basically what we want when you come here, okay, we want instead of the company name to have the applicant name. Um, are you sharing your screen? You can oh, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. Good catch. Okay, you guys see my screen? Yeah. Yes. So basically, yes. I put yesterday online, uh, and we have also backend online as well, but uh, th th there is a uh, backend because of uh, currently it's oversimplified. We, we, I will show you in local one. So this is my local host and the backend running the Jopex initial one, uh, current backend. So what we do, we come here and instead of these company names, we should have the applicants for us. So we are thinking from the recruiter and the company perspective. So I am recruiter. I get from hiring manager, we need somebody to hire, okay? I come to them, that's the dashboard I'm getting. And this is instead of the company and stuff, this is the applicant. So I click the applicant name, I, see, I can see his name because here it didn't change, but so when the applicant, what's his name? What the position he applied, when he applied, from where he applied, ratings and the resume, we can add the applicant resume, which I will talk to you a bit more with you, John, after I explain. And we have the reviews. So reviews should be any kind of when you go through interview process, you guys know, everybody adding review, yeah? That's the place uh, the each reviewer will add. So pros, cons, like experience overall, good or higher. So here we may have good or bad, higher or no higher for example, but uh, yeah, we may, but the idea is uh, 
they should the couple interviewer should be able to add the uh, the reviews so and the notes anybody notes so this part is clear as from recruiter perspective yeah young lin john Wait, this is from employer or job seeker perspective? From employer. We are employer. not uh, building oh. anything for job seekers. I okay. will, we will let it say for again, do it. Once we have something working, we will integrate with them and show for our final day, but we don't have the right now care. Okay. Okay. So that's, I added, I, I am recruiter, I did applicant and stuff. So basically, uh, you should be able to add the applicant name, for example, I went to LinkedIn and talked to him and I, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> I should be able to, basically it's just the same way uh, DevOps. Uh, I should be able to add the applicant. And uh, that's my dashboard. And then obviously you guys know the metrics gonna show us something related on the data we collecting the metrics from employer side. Uh, obviously we will need to redesign based on data we have, but uh, so then we should be see able to see the, all the, our, the applicants in our database uh, as a companies. So I should be able to see for SACO, for example. Yeah. You, you see what I mean, yeah? Mm. And I should be able to, this is the page it's uh, exactly lever higher, which I shared with you guys. Uh, for example, that's employer perspective, okay? That's uh, our company one. So what it's gonna be a view job site, for example, I should be able to see all the job postings, okay? Mm. And if I want to do, to apply, you should be able to apply. Or if you want to see the details, yeah. But it's basically we don't even need about more about apply. It was, you remember, it was learn more details. That's where we're gonna have the forms. So just to give you an idea, here we have the applicants where we can click and learn more about all the we saw in the card. What is the uh, below CPT, you know, 0%, 0% OPT? It's, yeah, it's, not, it's a review. It's just uh, from job application. Once people review it, companies, mm -hmm. but we don't need these okay. uh, metrics. It's just trying to give you an idea what we are trying uh, to Paco, do. I have a question. Uh -huh. A few minutes ago, you said on the dashboard, right now we have companies listed. Right. Mm -hmm. And you said in the same way, we will be having employees. So not employees, uh, applicants, applicants. Yeah. Yeah. Applicants. So, but you just added SACO right now. So why, like, why is it, why an employer will add a job seeker? Because, uh, for example, I, I, I am reaching you over LinkedIn. Okay. And uh, you say initial agreement, yes. And then I'm adding you here. And then uh, I, after you apply it, I just start moving you around and people keeping the reviews and stuff. Yeah. You get the point? But do you think, you know, when there is an opening, you see like 200 to 500 applicants applying to the job. Mm -hmm. In the same way, people will approach the same HR, like say like 100 people will approach him. But I, I'm maybe just like beyond something. I was just trying to understand how realistic this could be. I mean like adding 100 people, does it? In the board? I mean adding, you know, 100 job applicants manually, do you think it's feasible? Like So usually what happens, uh, usually there is step behind, before it, screening phase. Okay. Well, so that's more into how many for this position the creator is talking, how many of them kind of giving initial agreement, then you bring 
onboard them. Okay. And you, so basically, you will create it manually, and at the same time, from our front end, for example, you will post this uh, job to the university portal, and the people once we apply through the job hacks will come here automatically. Okay. So then you will be able to see here and then reject the late, you know, you can select all the late or move. Okay. So, but it's kind of centralized dashboard uh, in single pane of glass where you will see the job posts you have and the applicant states to track. Okay. <clears throat> but usually let's say you have the 20 position and you have around 50, 60 people, and how are you gonna track it? You can't track with email, it's crazy, yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of giving you the nice way to track this, all this process. Right, Sarko, this, is, this page is from the job seeker perspective, right? Job seeker oh, yeah. want to apply and apply and get a phone screen. Exactly, well, that's what we have currently, but we are trying to now apply and reuse this in our case. Oh, in employer perspective. Yeah, exactly. So okay. it's just to give you that we can follow the same design style mm -hmm. and just we, that's what I did. Yeah, I refactored. There was uh, companies I put applicants. There was job I put. So what, what, what will you put for to apply? To, to, to apply? Yeah, to contact. I mean, from. No, it's, it, it will be the same to apply. Uh, you are, as a recruiter, you are talking to them, hey, can you apply, Do you, are you interested? And you just put it here just to, you can follow up with them. We don't okay. need to change the names. It's okay, then for, for each column, I mean, right now we, we see Salesforce, Google, sales, yeah. and then what will be in future? Will be a, a candidate's name? Uh, yeah, the candidate name. Candidate name, so like yeah. Sako, Jun Yi, Yonglin. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's what you see here. When you come here, uh, you will have open and it will be here. The candidate oh, name, their okay. resume, their reviews, all the company okay. who said what and all the notes if you have. Okay. So basically just to each candidate mm -hmm. will have separate and then you can come here. You can say, oh, where is Sako? Okay. Sako is in phone screen. Mm -hmm. for and what is his details? What is his phone number? So. Okay. Because okay. right now it's more in messy way, I think, from company side. Mm -hmm. And okay. we already get some enough uh, experience from user side, but it's, you know, it's uh, from both side, pretty much it's the same stages. Mm. And just, that's, uh, I, I, I think it's, from employer perspective, I will be happy to have something like that rather than lever. Because I don't think this is, you know, this, I, I, it doesn't make sense for me, this kind of, you know, it's like a uh, high school project kind of for, but they still, you, you, they get customer and uh, I mean, anyway, uh, okay. if you can build something better, why don't do it? So, uh, so basically the dashboard is place where applicants and jobs are connected, applicant and jobs or positions, okay. And, but we have separate applicants. We can search applicants separate and we can also search the jobs separate. Here it's gonna be, instead of the job, it will be position. Here we can add the create job posting, yeah? We can, mm. we'll have the form somehow here, which is, uh, I, I think Yonglin, you're on it, so. Yeah, I create like a, create a sim very simple mockup. Does that does that um, mix? Does that look good to you? Then I can, if that's okay, then I can start working on that. Yeah, definitely. You guys, you know, I'm also in, in the same page with you. It's also new for me. Trying to, I just trying to based on others how they're doing, trying to bring idea. But you are free to build whatever way you think makes sense to you. Just uh, in general, it's nice. Yeah, just uh, some stuff makes sense. Uh, yeah, but yeah, okay. it's, I'm not also expert on this field and stuff, but uh, just based on our experience, what we build, we can reuse it and 
Okay. Yeah, I think for now I just build a page uh, with using some dummy data and also some in some dummy interactions. Uh, but but I think that uh, within a day or two I should be able to have that page done. Okay. Anybody there? My screen. Looks my like, screen suddenly freeze. Yeah, I think he. Um, yes. Has some, having some problem. Oh, okay. He he just drop up, drop off. Um, I think okay. he will join you back. Do you guys have anything else I, I, I want to show mine because I, I have problem to communicate with Postgres. Um, I don't have anything. Okay. Yeah, okay, Sako just came in. Will he join back? I think he just joined. Okay. You guys see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, that's the yeah. Sorry, Yongmin. I think you are talking. Yeah, I was saying that um, I I I will start working on that page and should be able to have it finished uh, within a day. At least the UI uh, have the stack uh, the uh, mock data and some of the uh, functionality done. Yeah, that's uh, first for these key menus we need to finish. So yeah, we'll I'll add the menu and add the page. Um, should I just like, should I just like reuse, uh, should I just update the jobs? Like just use the jobs because the uh, jobs that won't make sense for the uh, employer. Let, let, let's do what? Um, like, so this, because we have so many menus in the job done, so I feel like that we probably don't need the jobs for the uh, employer, right? So, 
I guess yeah. like what, whatever you're saying, uh, it's just as example put just to give idea that you need the positions or. Yeah, I just add the like, positions within the company and then it would have a list of positions. Yeah, uh, it's just position within the company. So basically what we will have, we will use the same table because right now what we have separate front end, uh, separate front end, job posting, jobfacts.com. Okay. Uh, and we have this separate, uh, separate backend, job posting dot uh, be backend dot com. Okay. And we have this shared same database. Okay. In the cloud. So the idea is here. Once we have in the one of the table from the job dot com, we can pull out these jobs once it's ready. Um, I have a, one question here. So in here okay. that the jobs is actually the companies. So, yeah. oh, is it like right now, is it just a placeholder? I'm just not sure what's uh, happening here. Here it's uh, no, you see the companies it's because we are using the job hex backend. It's pulling the, uh, the, the API, we are pulling the companies. Um, yeah, so I understand. So would it be later on that it will show all the jobs or it was show, still showing like this? No, it will show the job. It's not the end. It's just mock-up. So, uh, so right now, so later on that this page would need to be update, updated as exactly. well. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, of course. That's not this final state. None of them is really working. Uh, none of them in the backend supported. It's just to show from VIPS kit to give idea that what uh, should look like. Okay, got it. Okay. So it's jobs will be all the created forms. So basically you create the form, you put the role description, all these details, yeah? And then you submit, it will appear here. And then they will be able to apply for the position from here. Is that yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, here uh, you will not see apply. Uh, it, or we can do it for internal employees, but we can, think about it maybe later it will be from the job hacks .com. okay it will be yeah from there because we will put to the table yeah we will submit from here we will put to the table shared table and the same api basically we will use uh okay that's uh jobs one and the applicants we will have here the all the companies instead the names and Usually we have the higher, no higher. So I will say just check. It's also on the internet. So yeah, just think a bit about from recruitment perspective, what you would like to see. So I think for the front end, you guys are good. Uh, Younglin, I think you also want to do some backend as well, yeah? Uh, yeah, I can do backend. Uh, if you have some tasks for me, I can do that. So yes. I can do the job posting, the uh, UI that I just mentioned. Okay. Job listing, yeah. And okay. do you have any tasks for me? I can do that. So yeah, that's the uh, thing. We just pushed a bit now uh, the backend side, uh, a bit oversimplified. So if you can run this capstone one, that that's a capstone one. It's but yeah, there is some breaking changes between. So if you can start using this capstone backend in your local and running with your with a with a with a capstone, okay, front end Jobex capstone front end, and this backend branch. Okay, I was able to use the master, so I think I should huh? be good on the uh, huh? capstone. So, sorry. Uh, I was saying that I I was able to run the master re, uh, branch, so I should be able to run the... Uh, yeah, but the thing is, we pushed some changes, we took out some stuff, but it's... Uh, so it's... It breaked a bit uh, things. So basically right now, if you come to... It's online, yeah? Both versions are online right now. So you can still log in, but because of API changes, it's uh, right now... That doesn't save the state and you know basically mm -hmm. need to check apis and, and so basically you see it's 
because there is uh, that we remove the job apps yeah, API, yeah. but you, you can uh, bring it and. Yeah, I have the problem before actually. I saw that before and I was confused. I think it's because the backend make the change yeah. and yeah. it wasn't in, yeah. So you can just, what you can do, you can do the parity checking. This is a master and the capstone, you know, go and because it's, let's say moving, you can bring it modified version of it. We just wanted to push the base or backend. Mm, Let's have what, a, one question here. Does it make sense that just um, to update the um, capstone with the master right now? Because because it looks like the um, it looks like the front end has the ladies. Hmm. Um, the um, so the front end the capstone front end is the same as the master branch because it's trying to call some APIs. So I'm not sure if that makes sense. Or not. You are. Thinking to update what again? To update the capstone branch to be from the back end or front end? From the back end to be the uh -huh. same as the master. Yeah, that's uh you, you you can leave this capstone, this one, because we try to build to break some dependencies and just have only user authentication leave it, okay. And you can so basically okay, let me I, I'm gonna give you guys the access basically. Create here capstone master or something branch. If it's the better state, we just use that one. Um, yeah, I understand that. I'm just meant that the the starting the starting point for the two repo is mm -hmm. different. For the uh, capstone capstone front end, it's using it's using a version that ahead of the uh, the capstone branch here. The capstone branch is a little bit a step. Behind, I'm not sure if that makes sense for you. Yeah, but we merged it, yeah. Did you merge it? If you merge yeah. it, that this should be fine then. But the thing is, we refactored here as well. We oh. removed some stuff. Oh, I see. Okay, got it. I Job see. apps and stuff. So that's kind of we had some breaking changes here. Authentication is working, but for example, if you come to applicants and stuff, it's uh, because of we removed the API. We need to add it there. So. So, um, so, so is there someone going to fix that in the capstone branch? So th that's a point that which one we want to use as a base. Do we want to go to master and start changing this or just go simplified capstone and keep adding from modified mm, version? I think, I think we should use capstone because I feel like that you guys would have um, continue changes on the master. So let me tell this way, at this point of time, so either we can take the capstone as a main us and start adding new stuff there, or we can again use the take master, again have capstone master or something, and then start reusing and change on the fly. Because there are other stuff, yeah. We removed alumni, all these guys. We removed blog. We removed uh, event and all this API. So, it's capstone currently is more clean version, but there is uh, some basic need front end changes. Yeah, that's let me take this way. Okay. Because uh, the API calling now it's not in the back end, so need uh, to modify in both sides. Oh, okay. So, like the changes that has done in the back end, but some changes hasn't done in the front end. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, to adapt these changes. Uh, okay, that's here. Just go through the boss and see which one. Okay, then yeah. I, I want to show you the some something on back end. Yeah, uh, I, I can stop sharing. Yeah, but yeah. I put it on master. Maybe I will change it uh capstone like tomorrow. You put in your own master. I put in my own master. Where where you put them? Oh right now I put in the yeah, my own uh, my own master. Oh you and, can and, create a PR, okay. And it's not the updated one. So because I, I just realized you have created a capstone. 
Yeah, you can do Git merge, uh, capstone or merge. Yeah, so you can yeah. share what. Uh, yeah, but but the work is not done. I want to share since Young Clean want to do some backend. How do I share? Okay, share. So yeah, June. Mm. Okay. Okay, so this is my screen. Okay. Right, you see. Okay. So uh, it's not very complicated. Uh, yeah, I, I myself make it complicated. Actually, I already this is the database. Uh -huh. I really simplify, simplify like this. So you can have a form, but uh -huh. that's not my purpose now. My purpose now is to able to add something inside uh -huh. the database. Okay. So I, 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 I add anything, right? And this is the error I got. Programming error. So this come from this one, form.save. And then it come from here, view. So, uh, Post request, mm -hmm. and then form is valid. Clean the data, uh, append into this uh, data structure, and then save. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is causing me problem. Uh, this works well for uh, SQ, SQLite, but mm -hmm. it doesn't work well with uh, Postgres. So maybe the Postgres the interface is a little bit different. I need to uh, have a check. I see. Yeah. So let's check uh, the currently how it's doing. It's in the views you put it. Yeah, in the view. Uh, in views, let me have a look. Form is from the. So let's models. check the similar one. I think the position or yeah, position views. So. Position. Okay. Th th there is. Yeah, that's uh, but it should be in the views. This save, I mean, position. So let me try to see. Uh, right so, now. No position. So basically, you have the issue that uh, to uh, put the data into all, the database, putting data into database. Yeah, that's the purpose of this form. Save. So, th did you create the mo model? The model. Uh, yeah, okay. yes. Model is like this. Model, you created the table. There is no issue. You can see in your database. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I just put milestone jobs. Uh, yeah. Eh? I thought I can wait. Uh, mm, I cannot access to because hmm? or oh, is it because I uh, hmm? wait wait no no no. So basically, did you try June, uh, Django Postgres? Yeah, that's what you are trying to do. Or uh, it is working before. I don't know why. Uh, okay. Somehow. Yeah, you can. Yeah. It's fine. You can check it, and in case you can put in capstone or uh, yeah, just also tag. Oh yeah. Code. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I using this interface is okay. I can add. Okay. Eh? Okay, somehow I screw up somehow. Seven. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm sure you're close. You you get it. You may need to check again. Yeah, I'm debugging this database. Maybe I change something somewhere here and there. And then, uh, so yeah, this is the way where I, the state where I'm now. So yeah, we may need a bit speed up uh, for the 
back, back inside it's because yeah. it's just we have just two weeks or to complete uh, these four stuff but at the same time I was thinking if you want also Jun uh, because you were saying something you want to work on the CV parsing or something yeah that's but that cannot be done only after we are able to get the data into database so yeah that's a good point so uh, may, maybe if also Yanglin uh, will help us for the backend these four menus like dashboard metrics, applicant jobs you can also do that so you what exactly wanted to do that's for CV parsing oh just uh, pass the resume and I'll put some statistics so can you do for example uh, if we send you in one best API, okay, uh. one API endpoint, we are sending you uh, resume in uh, resume PDF or something, and then you return in a JSON format and some statistics or just parsing through and something like that. Maybe there is already a project, but okay. maybe that uh, you can make it as a... So the result is a JSON format. Yeah, we, we yeah. all uh, across our services, we're gonna use uh, JSON. Mm -hmm. So, and then if once we have JSON, we can store in our database uh, or we can just pull some data, extract some data and do some metrics on top of it. So okay. that's also interesting or another thing calling, uh, if you have LinkedIn profile, you have GitHub or this, you put the links and then we go and pull, call some data and bring in JSON, something uh think about so if you think like something that mm. uh, you, you want to do more on this kind of stuff that's uh, also there okay so uh, just uh yeah, yeah. Yongin, you have any idea do you, uh how, how do we want to uh cooperate um this? so you have done the migration for the uh module migration so yeah did you run the migrations uh, uh maybe before yes uh you need to run the make migration make migrate I think, oh okay to detect if it is any changes i think uh was that make migrations yeah I don't know. Your, what post, may, your post maybe, is not working. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Did you rename job name to job title? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that could be also a point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, So yeah, that's a uh, yeah. Then my solve the problem. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's a good first thing because it's gonna be repetitive. That's the key things. Yeah, which we need first put data, get data, uh, like list or get or whatever, and delete data and update data. That's four operations we need yeah. for applicants for jobs. So yeah. It works. Okay, like this. Yeah, oh, thank cool, you. Nice. Yeah. Good. Good, thanks. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, delete is not working yet. Okay, thank Yeah, you. but uh, so then Jun, you're in mm -hmm. a good state. You need four operations again. Oh, sorry, can add, you repeat again? Four operations? You need four operations. You need add job, you need delete uh. job, you need uh. edit job, okay. you need uh, get job. Okay get add mm. delete oh, wait, edit are you clear yeah add, I think we need yeah i think we add, need to have the uh, schema first right for the database yeah that that's a thing like add edit delete get mm. get yeah so you you have one rest api mm. and it will be http post HTTP get, HTTP okay. delete, HTTP, I don't know, like. 
okay. with your post. So, so basically, from your own interface, first thing uh, you uh, need to do all this for operation in your Z simple. Don't, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just, I think, just for learning for yeah, uh, Yongli. It's just the next step gonna be just. I think he is uh, Johnny is in state to learn jungle and stuff. But mm. once he's cleared it, uh, it will be easier to jump to oh, okay. database camera. And I, I think Yongli, you do the mockup and you can also come up with the form in the front end and then based on this. Yeah. So basically, you, you I'm say. I'm picking this use case and doing this use case. So mm, Yongping, okay. uh, I think I can help with you to define the API endpoint if that's helpful. It, okay, what do you mean by API endpoint? Uh the um the delete uh edit or uh, update the oh, one that you okay. just mentioned. It's just that like what kind of um what's in the header, what's in the body, and what's the response back. I, I mean I might be able to help you with that. So you're working on the on that. So currently I'm working on like getting a list of the uh, positions in the company. So maybe we can start from that, I guess yeah. that we can like get a okay. list of, um, get a list of uh, positions within the company. I think that can be a starting point. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can, uh, we will figure out later. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you can, you can ping me. Um, okay. Uh, Tomorrow I have to go to work, so maybe like uh, evening or at night yeah. time. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's great. I think uh, we are in the same page now, and uh, just don't wait, guys. Don't wait. Mm -hmm. If you have any issue, just let's finish it as soon as we're done, and then let's do other stuff. I don't want to uh, ask to till last minute. You know, get stressed because I'm more into proactive. You know, whatever we do. So as soon as let's down, maybe we can finish in three weeks. We can finish in one month, whole project. Let's do it. Mm. And we have all the documentation, all this you, you saw put in Google Drive and that's just forget. And yeah, that's at least let's go to the state that we are safe enough. And then on top of it, if you want to do more, we can always do, but at least to, for four guys project in the end, we don't go and say, hey, we have just only, I don't know, whatever. Uh, okay. It's uh, we, because it's also our reputation. It's our profile as a software engineer. When people go out, you know, like, and think of you as a good engineer, or you who were just doing something. So, mm. anyway, uh, mm. I see. I, I am really happy with work with you guys. Just whatever I do, it's more proactive, nothing personal. Please okay. excuse me if you if I don't express okay. in the right way. But I am more into show our engine activity because I try to pick really, uh, it's more, I understand it's not really a uh, junior, junior level project that we are trying to build. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, I, I hope it's also a good experience for you guys. It's worse too. Because uh, like, mm -hmm. stack so, wise, yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, do you mind checking my screen once? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I can. Uh, Maybe I guess. Yeah. Just so I just. Yeah. So you see Hello? this jobs heading, right? So I just mm -hmm. tried to change that, saying create profile. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't see that getting reflected here. Uh, Do you think is it something dynamic? I mean, is it coming but to it's that here, level? But it's not here. Yeah, it's the jobs where you're trying to change. Or, but or, the URL is. I mean. It's oh, I think you should have it. Uh, is it uh, rebuilt? Because how you run it, is it Yarn dev? Is it automatic cloud dating? Or y Yarn build doesn't change. You, you need the Yarn dev run it. Yes. Can you see what the command you use to run it? Yeah. Yeah, it's Yarn dev. Yeah, then it should be automatically. You go there. Where do you change? You change inside the companies, yeah? Yes, inside the companies. Okay. Go back. Uh-huh. Uh, 
Wow. Uh, guys, feel free to leave if you're done. I think. So, yeah, that's, uh, I think, clear, John Younglin. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't want to... Okay, this is very productive meeting for me. I solve any, every problem I need. Yeah, Thank that's you. great, John. Uh, yeah. Just keep trying. It's, uh, you'll get... Uh, it's, I, I know it's also... There are also still new stuff for me, but once you put enough time, we are engineers. Front end, okay. back end, we will get it there. So yeah, just I am also recording in case you guys. I will put it in YouTube. I, I think no issue for you, just for the meeting, mm -hmm. and you can always go back and check if you have any questions. Okay, so, then yeah. I'll leave. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I guess I will chop up as well. Uh, I, I think uh, Yonglin, you are good. You get the idea, yeah. And uh, also, you know, will give us some if you saw guys some design stuff. And but did he do any mockup? I'm not sure. Not yet. He will give us by tomorrow, day after. So basically, but we we are gonna use the same style. Mm -hmm. You can start building, and if something you can use it or don't really just you know, he will give us something. It's nice to have him, but just start whatever makes sense for you. So as I said, it's nothing and no any commitments from for job hacks. We are building it for ourselves. Okay. I'll just stone. yeah, I'll just start from what I have and then if there's any change in needed that I'll update later. Yeah, just uh, whatever you've you are you are basically uh, the boss you guys are from the front end design part. I let you guys decide whatever you makes sense for you. Uh, mm -hmm. we have just uh, header and all this stuff which uh, i thought it will be easier not to spend time that's why i pushed but from from there you guys should take it and okay. and yeah uh, thank you Yangling. okay enjoy your evening thank you it is a module not found at all yeah yeah that's normal go and rename this company card ga6 to go to this file uh okay yeah. go go to the top and uh, where go back to error oh. i think it was in the app gs6 go back uh, companies gs6 not found in uh, companies where is that component company card okay go to company cards here where is company cards No, wait. No, it's. Uh, is it companies? C can you go back? It's. So go to company cards, company card, GS6. You know, wait. Go to companies, companies, GS6. Okay. Companies, companies, GS6. Go up. Go to the top. Hello? Hello? Hey, it's in the top. Yeah. Uh, okay, just rename to remove J6 JS from the end. It's automatically added. No, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're good now. Uh, okay, yes, I think you just need to, yeah. That's simple thing you need to start picking but up come quickly. It appended dot JS, okay. Yeah, it's automatically adding the from when you add automatically in your VS code. So just pay attention to read the errors. I found out React errors are easy to 
yeah. to, to track. It's in Python backend even it's a bit sometimes it's not descriptive, but I found React is really giving you uh, descript nice descriptions. So okay. in, in worst case, if you can't find, usually you just go and paste it in the Google. Yeah, yeah, sure. And usually it's, you get idea. So yeah, it's now. Oh, okay. Again. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, yeah, just because of matter of time, you need yeah, yeah. to speed up. So just some trainings could help. And it's also good React learning React uh, over the time. It's really yeah, everywhere. Yeah. So yeah, it, it first spent some time. Okay, man. Enjoy your evening. Okay. Thank you, you so too. much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.